testing. Okay, there we go. Now I've got my microphone on. So, we're doing Pete's Carriage. Uh, we're going to try Hell 1, and then we're going to do something crazy and try Hell 2, apparently. So, we'll see how this goes. And then I'll be doing some other random events in the game, doing some stuff, some things, I'll show you some progress. Got no viewers yet, but, you know, eventually maybe we'll get somebody. Hey, somebody showed up. Alright. Welcome in. Got a minute or two until our server's first pizza carriage event. Uh, they call it, it's the, the event is actually the haunted carriage, but uh, at some point during alpha and beta, they coined it the pizza carriage. So now everybody in the game knows it as pizza. Um, and we escort this carriage through, kill a bunch of stuff, and deliver the pizza to the end. <laughs> so. Uh, we're gonna try Hell 2 after, which is typically meant for Paragon 30. Um, but we'll see. Like, we've got Marlu here, he's Paragon 13, and he's a beast mode, so it might be possible. And the reason that it is worth it is, uh, because you can start the pizza carriage on one difficulty, move to another difficulty, and start it again, so it'll later on in the game we'll start with like pizza on hell 4 and then we'll go to pizza on hell 3 hell 2 hell 1 etc and then start working our way through but after this event we'll try hell 2 and if we fail i'll probably do some pvp um maybe some shadow raids i think i think the raids are active right now the vault, yeah, so the vault's active and PvP's active. I wish that those two things were separate, but what I'll probably do is do a vault raid, and then I'll PvP a match, and then I'll go to a vault raid, and then I'll PvP a match um, to try and maximize my stuff. Although I think I've hit my weekly cap, so it might not be worth it for me to even do too many raids unless it gives you the 200k gold every time you do it regardless of whether you are eligible or not so that would be the piece that we'll figure out look at all these people this is insane okay so what's happening here it reset the carriage but where's the actual carriage did the event bug out? Oh my gosh. Did it really? <laughs> oh, that sucks. It is here, okay. It was just delayed. Oops, okay. So it is here, so now we've just gotta follow this carriage, which is actually pretty fast. I don't know if there's actually stuff like to kill in the way or what the deal is. There's so many people here, I don't even really know what's going on. But basically we're just gonna follow this thing through. Kill stuff. I don't know where stuff spawns. <laughs> Everything's just getting obliterated so I'm guessing there's a boss at the end. That would be, that would be my um, my gut reaction is at the end there's a boss. So apparently the Hell 2 version launched as well. So I don't know how they stack these. Um, somebody said that during the beta you could go from one difficulty to the next difficulty, and I don't quite see how that's possible if they all start at the same time unless it's coordinated that everybody 
is on one and you escort it through and maybe the carriage will just stop and if nobody kills anything it'll just wait so then maybe you go and find the carriage along the path and kill the stuff and, and begin the event So then after this event, I've got, today was a really good day for legendaries for me. I got two triple stat legendaries today, so that was pretty epic. Um, it's going to make them hard to replace, but I mean, having triple stat legendaries is fantastic. And I'll show you what I mean by that um, in a minute for my, my one viewer, but basically the majority of legendaries at this point in the game only have two stats on them. They have, you know, intelligence and vitality or willpower or um, whatever else it might be. And then um, there's a rare chance that you get an extraordinary item that has three stats on it. And that happened to me twice today. So the only real way to replace a three stat is with another three stat. Or later on, when it gets to the point where the two stats that a regular legendary has on it add up to more than the three stats. So, oh, there's the boss, the tax collector. Okay, 16 million health, that's a lot. I can't even see where he's at. Okay, we're killing this pretty quick. You know, the other thing I forgot to do is I've also killed a bunch of world bosses today and gotten a lot of my gems for my Herodric um, cube. So the server's lagging right now, so it's having a hard time with the amount of people here. I don't know if it's the server lagging or my game lagging, but it's definitely having a hard time with what is happening here. Especially when the loot drops, it's gonna... Okay, so there's our enchanted dust, a legendary, if I can click it. And now we want to... To kill some monsters in the cemetery. So I need to kill six more monsters here to get another bonus chest and then I'm gonna go and um, switch difficulty and try and get into that other hell carriage. Which it might be too late if I waste time finishing this but I want to finish the quest. So there it is. And now teleport back to West March. Because you have to go back to West March to change difficulty. Alright, so we're going to go back to West March. We're going to change difficulty to Hell 2, which is well above where I'm supposed to be. And then we're going to go to the Ashwold Cemetery and see if the pizza event is going still. So I see chatter about it. It says something about it looks like it's gone. Looks like it's gone in H2. Holy crap. 348% more damage is what I take, and I deal 77% less damage. Yeah, that's... You have to not get hit at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so...
looks like we're not going to get that one. Okay, so it's in eight hours is the next one. Um, what is that? Recommendations. Upgrade everything. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna run back now and I'm gonna look for a group for, um, I'm gonna look for a group for a shot or for a vault raid. And then after the vault raid, I'm gonna look for, I'll do some PVP and then we'll look for a vault raid and then we'll PVP and we'll bounce back and forth doing that for a little bit. Uh, and then I might run some dungeons. So let me switch this back to hell one and Let's go to where the vault is. So I don't really want to enter the lottery again. I have an extra one already. Um, so I don't know, I'll figure it out. But basically when you enter the lottery and you already have a signet, it gives you an extra one that you can give to someone else. So. I might as well just keep entering the lottery and have extras so that I can give to people. Although I don't know how I'll give one to my alt or if I'll just have to enter the lottery again when I get my alt leveled up. Um, we'll see. Path of Blood, not what I want right now. I don't remember where the raid guy is. Here it is. Okay, let me see if my Discord server, if anybody wants to do vault. Okay, seeing if anybody needs a vault run there. Um, and then I need to try and find a vault run. Let me see if... I want to get a vault in. Uh, I also need to, let's see, for my dailies for shadow, for my activities, my rank. So I need to raid the vault for this. So I have to do at least one. I need to challenge the path of blood, even though I got wrecked on it, so that I can get these. Um, and those will be my dailies that I can get out of the way. And then I don't know if I can see, um, But this thing keeps spamming me, which is also super annoying. Um, where it keeps saying the Shadow War, Shadow War, join Shadow War. And every single time I like click anything with shadows, it does that. So it's a little frustrating. So we're gonna run a quick vault and then we'll PVP. <sighs> Only one viewer, so. Definitely not building my um, my fame any, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. I just want to get some sort of following, and I'm gonna start doing some guide videos and having those out there, um, and then start building my channel from strategy games into Diablo Immortal. Probably take a couple of months till the YouTube algorithm adjusts again, uh, and then from there, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping to get some deals with either Huawei or Amazon App Store. And once that happens, I will be able to get some special deals for people and maybe we'll get some people onto the channel that way. The vault for my one viewer, if you're not a Diablo player, um, basically you're raiding the vault of the immortals, and at any point the immortals can get alerted by these wardens that spawn. If you kill the wardens, they won't alert the immortals, um, 
and you're safe. But if you fail to kill them, the immortals get alerted and they can come jump in and PvP with you. Uh, right now the first immortals are NPCs, so it's not much of a big deal, but later on down the road it becomes the strongest, one of the strongest alliances on the server is going to be the first one. And then um, after that, the shadows will all work towards taking the immortals down. And slowly, slowly, they'll do things like raiding the vault, um, doing missions against them, and it'll slowly weaken the immortals. Uh, and it'll weaken the immortals to the point that the shadows become stronger than the immortals, and then the shadows win um, this big PvP NPC like battle. And when the shadows win, the top shadow clan then becomes the immortals and they get to bring two other clans with them. So 300 people get to be immortals at once. If you have full clans of, of 300. And the way you determine who the top is, is again with PvP. So there's a PvP PvE hybrid going on with who's going to be the strongest. Uh, all right, so there's a warden, so we got to stop that warden. Um, it died. So there's another warden. When the wardens pop up, you have to focus the wardens because if they get away, they more to alert the immortals, and the immortals come and kill you and kick you out of the vault. Basically. So that's what we don't want. So you see there the other thing that happened is when I opened those chests, it didn't give me anything um, extra. It used to give runes and gold, but because I've maxed out my chances for the week, uh, I've, only, I've done four vault raids and opened 40 chests already. So because of that, I can't get any more additional rewards from the box. We still get to steal the Essentia, um, but we don't get to get the hilts and the gold. So this is a perfect run so far. We've got, you get 18% on the first level, you get to 40% on the second, you get to 70% on the third, and then the final level has the final 30% treasure. So try and make sure that you've got those levels hit when you go through the, the vault. Um, because there's stuff that will drop from every monster, from the treasure chest, things all over. And there's a warden. It's behind us, so that's annoying because I've got to chase it. Let's see if I can chase it back towards the people. Okay. You see them, there was some essential that got left behind. You gotta kill every single monster in the vault. You can't leave anything alive. No guardians, no nothing. If you leave any, you're leaving Essential behind. And later on, the more you steal, right now it's just gold and stuff, but later on, it becomes really good items that you can steal. Like triple stat legendaries, stuff like that is in the vault and available for theft. So we're, let's see, where's that warden? Right up here. Okay, warden down. Another warden down as well. And looking at the way this group is running, like I don't think the wardens are going to get away. But we're also on difficulty level 1, so eventually the vault gets increased in difficulty and when that happens everything gets harder uh, and the warders, or the wardens might get away if they're super hard to kill. So they're kind of like treasure goblins where you attack them and they just keep running away and you can't really get anything solid done. So, good thing I chased that one down because nobody on my team followed up. <laughs> but I was there to stop the warden. 
I guess they were chasing the other one, so. Oh my gosh, so many wardens this time. Okay. So we're at 70%, we've got everything, and we're going into the final floor. one of my videos too and see how this sound the mortals have been alerted so I don't know if we missed a warden or what happened there but they've been alerted so at some point they could pop in here um, and it'll just all of a sudden we're gonna get jumped by four PV oh there they go they've entered so we've got to look out for those so where are they that's the question. Splitting up at this point is not what we should be doing. There's the demon hunter, okay. Okay, Demon Hunter's dead. What else is hitting me? So there's a mage. Drop the combo on the mage. Need my armor up. There it is. Did we kill them all? Oh, no, mage is still alive. And I run right on top of him like an idiot. And I'm clicking the wrong stuff like an idiot. No mortals left. Okay, so now we can res our, our people. Whew, I almost screwed that up by doing the same thing I do in PvP is accidentally clicking the mini-map in the top right when I'm trying to attack up there. Um, and I'm low on hit points, so that's the other piece that I'm looking. There's no health vaults over here, so I've got to be super careful. My potion's not charged. There's a health vault up, up here. So I'm definitely going for that. Seems like he healed, because I thought we had him lower than that, and then all of a sudden he was full again. Got him, pick up all the Essentia. And there should be one chest behind with the rest of it, and we should be at 100%. Nope, if we're not at 100% we miss something. So, I wonder if that's because he died. So if the people that died dropped some of their loot, I wonder if that's part of it. Or if we just missed something back here. I don't, yep, there's a chest. Or it flashed on my screen for a second, but apparently it's not. Okay, well. I don't know why we only got 94% this time. But that was it for the vault raid. I'll go get out of here and 
and see if it actually gives me any gold. If it gives me the gold, I'll do another one. If it doesn't give me the gold, then I'm only going to do one of these for my daily and be done. So it didn't give me the gold. It gave me 40 hilts, but I didn't get the 200k gold. So it uh, looks like it's going to be time to do some PvP. So I can get stomped on in some PvP. And then I might try and do some dungeons. I'm not sure. I do like the PvP in this game. Um, I think one of the problems is going to be that there's that only the one style of battleground, and that's probably going to get a little boring um, after not too long. You know, like variety is good. Having multiple different styles of battleground would definitely help with, you know, boredom. So we'll see if they add any in the future. But right now, there's just the one, and. Yeah, for me, it's it'll get old. I mean, it's fun to kill people, but how much do you actually want to kill people all the time? Is this just a single normal gem for 200? I don't know that that's actually worth it. Let's see what we can get. Cannot join while in a party. Got it. Okay, so I'm Paragon level 7. Um, doing the vault here is going to get me close. And then what else did I want to do? I have my Shadow Daily. Oh, I should have attempted the uh, Path of Blood floor. I think I'm on 14. I should have done that when I was down there. I wonder if I can do it in the queue for Battleground. If I can do both, maybe I can get lucky and knock that out real quick while I'm, um, um, here it's bugged out. I hate when it does that. It just runs you in one direction. It bugs out on the, on the PC client instead of teleporting you down there. So we're up and down from one, two, three viewers back to one. I don't know if it's the same person that's staying and hanging out or if it's different people, but we're going to try floor 15, see if it knocks me out of the queue for PVP or not. Yep, it did cancel it, so that sucks. We got that one done. I wasn't able to beat this earlier, but then I went out and I got more Paragon levels. I got um, the two, three stat legendaries, so my combat rating is higher. And I wonder how far I can go now at this point. Because until I start getting that message where the difficulty of monsters is high, these aren't actually that hard. Um, it's once you know, it starts getting into that same kind of challenge rift thing where you're doing 40% less damage and taking 100% more damage and you can't heal and it's like, here, okay, so we're just starting to get into the monster difficulty. So we should be able to beat this one and then we might be able to do one or two more before we get stuck again. And I'm at zero viewers again, so obviously I'm not very exciting. <laughs> Oh, it's sad. It is what it is. It's immune to damage is the thing that makes it quite difficult. Immune to damage from the front. That was, was that 18? 
Yep, so now we're at 19. So it looks like it just keeps going. It just keeps going, going like challenge rifts. At the end there it says, you know, keep beating floors to review new or to release new challenges, but all it does is release new floors. Like it doesn't actually change. I might get a level up off of this. I think I've done enough of them to rank up. Let's see real quick if I can rank up now. Yep, so now I'm a Watcher level 2. I get 1% bonus damage, get my rank rewards, get my bonuses for that. Let's enter new members, and I'll keep trying. I think I'm pretty close to the limit of what I'm going to be able to finish. Floor 20 should have a pretty high monster difficulty. Oh yeah, it's a boss. The bosses are way harder. Because I need them to stand still. And I can't heal. We'll see. I might be able to beat it if I'm lucky. It's just going to take a while. It's like killing a Rift Guardian boss. It's going to take two or three minutes. I've only got three minute timer though on this. So I don't have as much time to sit and do damage. Doing that combo and running around, avoiding the teleport. When I get my ice armor up, I can stand to take some more damage and try and lure him back into it. You can see I'm hitting for 888 when I don't crit, so that's definitely very low. just might have it, because it's a three minute timer, I'm there. Got my ice armor up, I'll have my combo again in a second. Just barely got it. Okay, I think I'm going to stop on that one and go get back in the PvP queue. I'm on rank 21 for those challenges, that's pretty decent. Clearing floor 20 got me another 330. And I've got people applying like crazy here, so... We're going to fill up soon, we're at 78 out of 100 members. Let's get up there and do some battlegrounds. Oh man, zero viewers, sad day. I think that some of my friends have been joining in the other ones and just kind of hanging out, which is cool and all, but I need to start getting out to newer players. So I need to somehow tag my channel for Diablo so that it's visible. But I'm ranked bronze three right now. So if I get a win, I'll move into bronze, into bronze four, which would be nice. I wonder if I've made it to the leaderboard yet. I have. So I'm ranked one in the wizard leaderboard. I don't know if there's rewards for this at the end of the week. Like, I don't know where to check the rewards. So, I guess we'll just have to see. I know that in the challenge rifts, I was, I 
was on the list. So, oh, I got passed. So Mr. Oscar Cat passed me in challenge rifts. So that's the first time I've not been in first on this server. I'm going to have to fix that. Um, I don't know what these portraits mean, how you unlock them. Um, but it might be significant that they've got that teal portrait. Which I don't even see here. Unless there's a way to customize these and I don't know about it, like that's a different frame than I can get. Yeah, I don't see how to get it, but all right. Um, hey, back to one viewer. <laughs> I'm really, really making uh, making my viewer minutes go up today. So I'm waiting in the PvP queue, trying to get some battlegrounds in. Um, hoping that I can get to bronze four but there's not a whole lot of wizards that play so I'm the only wizard on the leaderboard right now I think you have to get to bronze rank three to even get on the leaderboards and then from there um, it's determined by how your rank goes up now the bad thing about this is you could get unlucky even if you're the most amazing strong best player in the server you could get unlucky and go and have bad teams three or four times in a row and just get deranked because um, you lose rank when you lose and you gain nothing um, you gain nothing towards your rank when you win so I was thinking that they should change that to make it performance based or based off of like how you grind something like that so like if you get unlucky and you lose four or five times in a row that you're not just screwed for the week you know that you might be the best on your team on a losing team. I don't think you should lose 67 points when you're the MVP of your losing team. I think there needs to be a little, little bit of tweaking or changing to happen there. <sighs> Sitting in the queue for three minutes. This might not be a good time to try and do these runs. Um, I think later on is when PVP, you can get pretty much instant queues. I'll give it to like five or six minutes, but if I don't, if it doesn't pop, then I'll switch focus and we'll go try and do some battlegrounds. There it is. Or not battlegrounds. We'll do some dungeons to try and get sad items because I've only got two sad items right now and they don't match. So it would be nice to get some sad items and get that extra power from, from having a set. I also might have to spend some money. I keep wanting to buy the Boon of Plenty, but my PC client crashes when I try and spend money, which is kind of dumb that, you know, of, of all things to try and get right, the spending option on your game should be the first thing that works so that you can make money on it. But, okay, so I'm on defense. Yesterday, I played five or six matches and I was on defense every single one of them. And I swear that defense has a higher win percentage. Like, I think I've only ever lost one time on defense, which I might have just jinxed myself. But honestly, like, it, it's I think it's easier to win on defense, um, at least with the state of the game right now, with the abilities people have, and we don't have you know all the PvP specs. Like, it really feels like defense has a significant advantage. Okay, nine seconds to go, and let's go see what we're up against. It looks like I have a very squishy team. Demon Hunters, Necros, look at all these Demon Hunters. So many Demon Hunters and Necros, and I never, very rarely do I ever see other Wizards. Because there's not a whole lot of us. Um, I think that's part of the tier lists that were out, people putting Wizard on the bottom of the tier list for activities and stuff like that, and it probably made it seem like a weaker class, and I really don't think it is. Ooh, why am I lagging? I'm gonna have to fix something if I continue to lag like that. Okay, got him. 
I guess we should just keep pushing all the way through, huh? Oh gosh, I don't know what this lag is, but it's not good. Okay, I died. Um, oh, what is eating up my memory? Edge. I should close out Edge. I've had it open for too long. Okay. Now I'm gonna res, and we're we're only at two kills out of 55. Um, that's usually there's usually a pretty good indicator there that if they kill all of the um, first PVE bosses and we don't have many kills, that it's not gonna go well. And it looks like there's a guy on their team that's killing all of our guys. Adrian, I've seen his name pop up quite a bit already. Oh, I'm so dead. So dead. So who was that evil turtle? But yeah, we've still only got two kills. So I spoke too soon and didn't knock on wood earlier when I said that defense has an advantage because normally the way that we win is by getting 55 kills and right now that's not going to happen um, normally at this point in the game we'd have eight nine kills at least and it looks like we're getting kind of dumpstered we're definitely not winning that's for sure Yeah, we've got the squishy team and they've got all the barbs and stuff that... And they're pushing us so far back. Like we can't get any kills. Jesus, this, this guy is insane. Oh, I didn't get my shield up in time. So there's another wizard on the other team, which I don't see very often. We'll see how he does, but right now I'm doing terribly. I think I've got one kill and three deaths. Um, a couple of assists, but not going not going super well. And here, I'm just going to suicide basically because I'm getting jumped on already by the Kyre mobile guy. And the hearts are already vulnerable. This early in the game, we definitely lost. We're at nine kills in there on the heart, so this one's a loss, 100%. And we'll see at the end how we did, but I'm pretty sure that those warriors on the other team are going to be the top two or three for kills. Look at how fast the heart is dying. I'm not even going to make it back to try and cast an ability before it's dead. Yeah. That was a really pathetic battleground. Like, that was terrible. I don't even have any viewers to talk to, so I'm just kind of talking to myself. So I was the top on our team. <laughs> Look at this, 0-4, zero, 0-4, four, zero, four, zero, four, 1 and 6. And then you've got 9 and 1, 8 and 1, 6 and 1, 6 and 1, 3 and 1. Like, that was absolutely terrible. So let's try again and see what happens. 
but if I continue to get stomped into the ground, it's not fun. Um, it's fun to have a closer match or to actually have some like engagement, but getting raffle stomped like that, not super fun. And I really wish that it would alternate like offense and defense. Um, I've been on defense so much that like I I think I've forgotten how offense even goes because I've I swear I've been on defense the last eight matches. Um, so I should go get this identified to see what it is. But my new three stat legendaries I've got this helmet, so pretty decent here. Um, and then I got primary checks have an attempt or a chance to slow them and skill damage increase and critical hit damage. Uh, and then my second one that I got today was this one, um, where I get cheat death, beneficial effect duration, max life, um, and then three pretty decent stats. And you compare that to something like this. This only has 49 total stats on it, where this has 96. So it's basically twice as good. So that's why three stat legendaries are so good and everybody wants them. So I'm going to try and make it down to the identifier real quick and see what we can find. Still back to zero viewers, unfortunate. So nobody really stays when they come to hang out. I mean, I guess this is not super engaging content. No secret. Perhaps next time. No secret. So I got a rhyme mantle, which I've gotten multiples of. This one's not not great because it's got fortitude and willpower, and willpower is the least stat of my of what I should be going for. So I'm actually not going to equip this just because it's it's maybe better for score technically, uh, and I get some more damage out of it, but. It's not the stats that I want, so I'm going to skip it. So my focus is intelligence first, then I think it goes intelligence, fortitude, vitality, and willpower in the order of stats. And I think I've already got Rhyme Mantle in my Essence Transfer. And if that's the case... I do. So this one's just going to be a straight disenchant. Get some materials and forget it ever existed. What do you need, friend? And it asks you, it's like, it's better. Are you sure you want to get rid of it? And I'm like, yes. I hope that can help. It may think it's better, but I need more than my worst two stats on an item. I might try and do some more challenge rifts now that I've increased my combat power. Uh, I think the one that I was that I finished last night was 720 combat power. So I might actually be able to advance a few more based on where I'm at. So now my combat rating is 846. So I should definitely be able to to pass a few more. Um, of the challenge rifts and maybe get up to 20. I'll try and get it up to 20. So we'll do another couple of battlegrounds and then maybe I'll try that. And we'll just see how things are going. But if I continue to get zero views, then I'll know that this is not a good time of the day for me to stream. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to get content out there for Diablo so that YouTube can start recategorizing re -categorizing my channel as um, claim your offer if I purchase. I don't want to purchase. But yeah, I need, I need YouTube to start re-recommending my channel to Diablo Immortal viewers, and I need to start getting some guides out there. Um, and that's going to be the tough part, is making that change over, because it's my third game shift in the last year. So the algorithm's definitely going to have a hard time with that. 
and the PvP queue is really slow right now. So that could be because we just got stomped and the people on my team are like, screw that, I'm not playing anymore. Or we're just, we don't have enough people wanting to PvP at this time of the day. And that's happened twice where it looks like we're going to get a match, someone drops out, and then we don't go. So hopefully that actually changes um, and we get it fixed. Because I would love to do some actual PvP where the matches are a little bit more even and we're actually battling it out rather than just losing in three and a half minutes. Disconnected from Battle.net, that's annoying. That's been happening a lot today too. I wonder if I shouldn't like restart my apps and my PC and just make sure I've got a fresh connection. Well, that's the other miss. The unfortunate part is, I guess technically I could go out into the open world while I'm waiting for PvP queue. Um, I might go do that, so I'm not just sitting here. Maybe I'll go to the Zoltan Cools library. Because that seems to be... Like, I've been doing a lot of these different, like, the new Hell 1 kind of zone activities. But the Zoltan Cool one, running around here, I get so many yellow events. I must have farmed like 90 enchanted dust today. So the goal here when you're doing this one is you're just looking for pages. Am I gonna die? So that that is super annoying. That this person better accept, because I'm gonna freaking die and I can't even fight back. Oh, maybe I can't fight back. I just can't see anything to click it. I'm afraid it's not the time for that. Okay, so we actually get to go in. I'll probably switch to doing um, dungeons after this. My game just crashed. That's effing amazing. So let's try and get this fixed. If I can get back in before the match actually starts. And I'm on defense again. I do have some barbs on my team this time. So we'll see if it's balanced at all. I don't even, I'm not even sure where I'm at right now. Because that stupid Shadow War spam has been in my way the entire freaking day. I've learned about it a hundred million times. It won't go away. So here's what I was talking about where you're actually getting kills.
Okay, got two kills. Let's bandage up and let's go get the other side. The other side's about to go down. He's burning the ground, so I need to not be in there. Oh, I'm so gonna die. Am I still gonna die? Maybe. saved by the barb. Is that just a echo or what was that? So we're at 13 kills. They're not really getting to the idols yet. So this one's probably going to be a win. too many people. I needed to catch some people in my black hole if I was going to try and hold that by myself. Alright, so let's go get back in the fight. They're at the idols, but we're 13 kills. That's decent. We'll see how they move the idols and if we can actually put up a fight here. Um, so they awakened the idols. I'm trying to see which side is putting up the best fight right now. So we push the idol back. I'm still getting some lag here, which is super annoying. So that guy... These barbarians with their immortal stuff are so annoying. He's got an immortal trigger that he gets every single time. I'm still getting some lag, so unless I get some traction here on um, the viewers, I'll probably cut it, go restart my computer and start up again. Because lag is super frustrating when you're trying to play like PvP and dungeons and stuff. That'll stop him from running straight through. Yeah, I'm dead. That demon hunter jumping on top of me is gonna be death for me every time unless I have black hole available. That's one of the things that's bad about this current build is I don't have any mobility. Like, that's why the battle mage build later on has teleport. It allows you to get on top of people, disengage, run away, like that type of stuff. Okay, the other side is getting pushed a little bit, so I want to get over there. I gotta hang out here until my cooldown's up. That guy's so annoying.
Oh, uh, so he just, the Crusader messed me up there by pushing that Demon Hunter out of my combo. Like, he actually countered me. Spin to win, and then run away. Okay. So we're at 36 kills, this one should be a win. I hate when I hit the wrong buttons. So is the other side getting pushed now? So I gotta go check out the other side. Try and push that back. Keep him out of the fight because he's the one that's allowing them to push. Comes in, spins, goes immortal, and runs away. So this side's pushed back, and I need to go back to the other side. My combo's ready, so I can catch multiple people in it. If I play it right, there it is. That's a good spot. They're all dead. I know I've got some people in our back lines, but being in our back line doesn't really help anybody just leaves them as a target to get killed. So we're at 48 out of 55, so this definitely a win. Five more kills and we win. Battle is ending. Oh, it's ending on the timer, so we're not gonna get the full kills, but we will still end it. Got it. Victory. All right, nice win. All right, well, um, since. I haven't gotten any traction on viewers. 12 and 2, that's a good one. Happy with that. Um, I'm going to restart everything. I just hit bronze 4. I do want to PvP a little bit more, but I've been getting some lag, so I want to address that. Maybe I can do it without having to stop everything. Just Diablo Immortal and OBS are taking up so much of my memory. I don't know, I should be fine, but let's try one more since since we won that one and it was fun. Oh, there's Hydra. Okay. Let's go to Hydra. Hydra's always something I want to do because there's chance for legendary drops. Um all kinds of drops, enchanted dust, all that stuff. And you get like 10 million people going here. So I'm going to drop the battleground queue. Oh, gosh, he linked the wrong spot. So I need to get to the Hydra, which is up this way. Oh, I also keep forgetting to go and put in my gems into my um, Herodric cube. I need to go do that. I've got three of them to put in there. I don't know how far. I don't think I can upgrade many of them very far, but I can actually do something. And there's a page. Or he just took the page. Dang it. I was hoping that he didn't see it. 
So it's going to spawn in five seconds. How many people are up here? Decent amount. Only 4.73 million. So the amount of people in the area um, changes how much health the Hydra has, which is cool because it makes it so like the kill time is about the same most of the time. It's like two or three minutes. Um, earlier we had like 30 people here and the Hydra had like 12 million hit points, so it took a while. Oh, this is definitely a fast kill though, so I think because it's it spawned and there were only so many people here, but another, I don't know, five or six people just rolled up. Now we're, um, now we're gonna kill it really fast. Yeah, we're on the last bar already. And the other thing you want to try and do is, I don't know that it matters, I don't think it actually matters, but you always want to try and get, like, the killing blow. So look at all that enchanted dust, yellows, um, not too bad. I think I'm going to do some dungeons. Um, Shadows Metal, speak to the mysterious, mysterious patron. Did I win? another lottery I think I want another shadow lottery so now I have two signets to give out so if you're watching and you're not part of the shadows on my server let me know and I can send you a um, I can send you a signet to be part of the shadows so just because you get into the shadows doesn't mean you should stop entering the lottery until like your whole alliance, um, all your friends, like everybody is a shadow and then you don't have to worry about it. But until then, um, keep getting these so you can give them to your friends, give them to, you know, whoever shows up that might not have time to join the shadow lottery, you can just gift it to them. And after you get the signet, you have to come in here and prove yourself. You have to kill these three champions. I wish that all three of them would be active at the same time so that I can just I'm drop ready. my combo and kill them all quickly. Oh, it looks like the sand golem is going to be up too now, so I need to go right back and do the sand golem. So there's the signet, and we're going to now go to... I need to get out of here first, and then I'm going straight back to the library for the golem. And golem, if you don't know, is the opposite ends war boss in the library so the library can spawn the golem and it can spawn the hydra every time you do tomes um, and these raid bosses are very active all the time because the library is one of the most um, one of the most used or most um, interacted with zone um, for endgame. So basically you run around the library and you look for these shining pages on the ground and you pick them up. And when you get five, oh, they just picked one up. See, those are the pages. Somebody picks them up. When you get five of them, it turns into a tome. Once it's turned into a tome, you can open a portal that takes you into a room to either, it either kills people uh, or it takes you in a room to kill monsters and stuff and you spawn a chest. You get like five enchanted dust. Um, and it also has a chance to spawn the Hydra or the Sandstone Golem. So killing either one of those gets everybody like four or five enchanted dust. So it's really nice. Um, and basically the other thing that I liked about the library is when I'm running around the library, there were so many events. I did it for like two hours this morning for like 90 enchanted dust. I was spawning cursed chests and... Uh, kill events and just all kinds of side quests like tons and tons of them um, it was like every five minutes I was getting a special event that was getting me three enchanted dust on top of drops for you know killing blue packs 
yellow packs, um, purple skeletons, like all that stuff. So it helped me go earlier. I was at like all threes here and I upgraded all these to four and this to five. Um, and then this one, I want to work on getting this to six to spawn an extra, um, an extra bonus thing and then see what I get. But this one I want to reroll, but I don't have any of the reroll items. Uh, it's something I'm working towards. But I also found out like that's something you want to do later on is like, don't waste too much time doing it now because you're never going to be super happy with all of your rolls until you get up. Uh, and these are the ones I'm talking about. Like I've gotten all four of these today. I need to go put these in so that I get the benefits of it. Oops, okay, golem's up. So the golem has 7 million hit points this time because of the amount of people that were around. And I don't know what happens if you spawn this by yourself. If it's like 1 million or 1.5 million or what it actually is. Uh, and the golem's moving too much, making it so I can't combo. So this is dying really fast. Like you can tell that people want this because it helps with your upgrade materials to get four enchanted dust for just coming attacking something a few times. Okay. So now, what do I want to do? I want to try and do some dungeons. And the ones that I want, I don't really like doing Mad King's Breach, but it's the one that has the upgraded set items, so that's probably the one I'm going to do. So let's see if I can't go find a group for that. Let me see if anybody in my... Um... Oh man, what is happening right now? Okay, so what was I doing? I need to go to Ashfold Cemetery, Mad King's Breach, and look for a group. Let's see if first if there's any pugs going. Because sometimes you can get lucky with a pug group that's looking for people. So there's one. So Nick Nimble is another. Nothing can stand against us. Who else? One more. Just need one more. And the set items for anybody who's not an actual player of the game, um, set items are meant to go down this left side. So it gets to the point where you get um, these green items and they are called set items because they're part of sets. And the sets are pretty significant, but you have to have matching pieces. So like this one, when you get two pieces of the set, it increases your primary attack damage by 15%. When you get four pieces, it increases your attack speed up to a maximum of 25% uh, as you're using your primary attacks. And then if you get, um, it also has this, uh, you know, your primary attacks have a 5% chance to increase attack speed for 12 seconds if you get the six set. So this is all about attack speed. Um, this one is about channeling skills uh, and persistent ground damage. So I use a lot of persistent ground damage um, so this is a good one for me, and then each time an individual enemy, it, when you damage them five times, you do an extra 1,500 damage. So that's 
a pretty nice boost for me as well. I need one more person to start doing some of these runs. Flower Bridge, ever since the auto, they fixed the auto attack bugged out in PvP where I can't bandage it all the time. Uh, I need one more person. So I'm going to go to a, one of the big chats and see. MK H1 MKB need one person. Um, I think I'll run five or six of these uh, to try and get some sad items and see if I can't get lucky. And ideally, like some of these items you can't even get um, in this dungeon. That's so we got an application. Alana's coming. Perfect. Um, so some of these you can't get in Hell 1. It's like, I don't remember the exact things, but it's like rings can't drop in Hell 1. They can only drop in Hell 2. And then like certain an amulet can't drop in Hell 2. It has to be Hell 3. So to get a full set, um, I'm looking at, you know, it's going to be a while till we have full six set items because you can't even get all the pieces in Hell 1. But I do want to try and get a matching set for my two set items, um, at least. That would be, you know, the minimum is if I can only get two different pieces in Hell 1, I want them to match so that I'm actually getting the benefit of it. And of course getting a triple stat would be fantastic, but I've already got two triple stat items today, so I don't think I'll be getting another. Um, probably not for a while, unless my luck continues, which normally I'm super unlucky, so it's weird that I had such a good lucky day. Hey, what up? How you doing? You tried playing? It never let you enter the game? When were you trying? Because it's only been out for three days. Like it would have been in the app store for download, but the servers weren't live. Um, actually in the app store they were, but on the PC client, um, it was available for pre-download, but the PC client didn't go live until the second. I think you should give it another shot, honestly. Um, if, if it wasn't letting you in, there had to have been something else going on. But, but it's super fun, like I love it. I quit the ants um, pretty much the day after this came out. I realized like pretty, pretty quickly that I didn't really have that much fun playing ants. And I was like, yeah, I'm done with that game. So gave my accounts away and peaced out. Because when a game feels like a chore rather than being fun, it's time to move on, and that's what happened with Guns of Glory, that's what happened with Ants. Eventually it'll happen with this game too, I'll get tired of it. Um, that happens with all games, unless they're quick enough with their content releases that they can keep stuff coming out to keep you entertained, or there's other things, like competing at the top of the leaderboards is something that I'm having fun doing right now. I don't know if I'll be able to continue doing that in the future, because I'm not wailing super hard, so... If somebody comes and starts wailing out on this server or gets lucky on gems and just gets the things I can't, it's going to make it so that I can't compete anymore. Like, for, this is the first time today I'm in second place. First time I've been in second place on those leaderboards the whole time. Um, but it's it's only Saturday, so tomorrow is the day that I really want to push hard for some challenge rifts. So I want to keep leveling, keep getting some gear, and then tomorrow... I want to try and be number one for the end of the week. Because that's when you get the leaderboard rewards. Oh, you tried Ants? Yeah, it's. I get it. Have you tried this game? This one's Diablo Immortal. I think you'd like it. Uh, it's a totally different type of game, though. It's not like, you know, an AFK, things take hours to build. It's like everything you do, you have to play for. Even when you're wailing out, you can't just buy things. You buy things that contribute towards your luck and stuff like that, but you have to actually play the game to get it to work. Like, um, the biggest thing to wail on is legendary gems, and all you're really wailing on is the chance to have them 
drop. Um, and well, it guarantees a drop when you buy a legendary crest, but it doesn't guarantee that it's going to be a five star. So the pity system is 50 gems uh, before you get a guaranteed five star. Um, so it could be quite expensive if you're unlucky. Uh, right now it's mobile only uh, for this one, uh, so it's on all the mobile platforms, but it has controller support. So you could play it on like iPad, you know, tablet, your phone, and hook a controller up to it, or you can play on the PC version. Like right now I'm playing the PC version, but during the work week, when I've got to work, uh, if I'm in like a boring meeting or something, then I can pick this up and do some of my daily stuff um, and have it on my phone and do some of the things that, you know, don't really need the extra control that you get on the PC. But I've also not hooked a controller to it, up to it. Some people hook controllers up to these and they're awesome. Oh, that was terrible. I only got blues and grays out of it. That was absolutely terrible. Hopefully my luck gets a little better. It would be cool if they got this on, you know, they could easily get it on Xbox or PS4 since it's designed for mobile. Like, I don't see what would stop them from doing it other than maybe licensing issues and money stuff. Because they have loot boxes in here, basically, or pay to win stuff. And I don't know how that would work on the console. But I think other games have had it because, like... I remember some PC game, or some PS4 game, or Xbox game had some controversy around loot boxes, uh, and it was because they were basically doing the same type system as mobile, where you can buy stuff and there's a small chance to get good items and a big chance to get crappy items. Somebody in my group is doing like massive damage because like these guys are dying super fast and I don't think it's me. I'm guessing that Paragon 8 Demon Hunter is the one. Which is Alona. And he's in my warband. Um, warbands are basically groups of eight. Very familiar with Xbox controller. Well, you can use, like, you could use a plugged-in version, too. Like, depending on your phone, you just get, like, a USB-C um, to regular USB adapter if you have a plugged-in version. Like, I've seen people doing stuff like that where they're plugging in. The problem with that, though, is, like, to be able to charge, you need to get a splitter. And I've seen people do that, too. They buy a USB-C splitter to USB so that they have power and controller and you know headset so it's like a three-way splitter and there's different things you can do yeah man try it if you're gonna check it out uh, i don't know what region you're in but if you're interested in playing um with me i'm on the us west server called sand scorpions uh, and you'll have to search that from the menu um, or if you add me as a friend on Battle.net, then it will recommend this server to you because we're friends. Um, so that's something else you could do is add me as a Battle.net friend. And um, let me see if I can figure out if there's a way for me to see my Battle.net ID from in here. There's my Battle.net ID. Keychain number 1427. So if you're interested in adding me, there it is. Keychain number 1427. Uh, I'll accept it until I'm full. I've been getting friends list requests by tons of people. I don't know who they are. So that's been happening a lot. Uh, I think it's just because people that I play with in dungeons like add you as a friend. And eventually, when I don't know who people are, I'm going to have to like remove friends when I actually need people in my friends list for functionality. And I don't know what the limit is on Battle.net friends, but I would guess something like 100 or 200. 
I mean, like, you're not too far behind, too, if you start over. So the, the cool catch-up mechanic that this game has, um, right now you see that we've got these Paragon levels. Um, so after you hit level 60, you start gaining Paragon, and you unlock a new, a new skill tree. For every level, you get a skill point. Um, but the unique thing that's kind of a catch-up mechanic is there's something called the Server Paragon level. And the Server Paragon level goes up by 2 every day. So if you are below the server paragon level, you gain like 250% bonus experience to catch you up to that. Uh, you get bonus experience, bonus drops, bonus everything. So if you're behind the server paragon level, it gives you bonuses to catch up. Then when you're within, I think when you're within two levels of it, um, then it, it reduces that. But after that, um, if you go above the server paragon level, it becomes harder to grind. So uh, it makes it so that the the real blasters that are just killing it and playing 15 hours a day can't go super far ahead of everyone else. Like, yeah, they can get far ahead, but they really have to keep working at it. And, um, you know, it, it makes it so that it's not really worth grinding super, super far ahead of everybody. A couple of Paragon levels difference isn't going to make you god tier. I shall remember this trespass. How the okay, I got a yellow, but still not amazing loot. I need a legendary. I want a legendary set item. Let's go. I think I gotta go to town and break my stuff. Your goal would be to just be better than me? That won't be too hard. I think that you could do it. I have faith in you. Like, I'm definitely not the best, most amazing player. I just, um, something reforged? like to me? learn and make content for people. So, you know, that's that's my goal is to learn the systems and be able to share knowledge. You know, being the best is fun and trying to be good at it, but I'm definitely not, you know, I'm not the most amazing player. Still going. So, I'm looking for one person. If we can get one, we can keep going. You want to run dungeons with four people um, because it enables an extra drop chance for normal gems. And normal gems are the ones that go down this left side, so these red, yellow, and blue gems. Um, these ones here, they increase your, your damage, your potency, whatever. But these ones take, this is a long-term grind. Because you need three of the previous rank to increase. So it's like, to get to a rank two, you need three level one. Then to get to a rank three, you need three level twos. To get to a rank four, you need three level threes, etc. So it keeps getting exponentially harder to increase your gems um, and that's why you want to run dungeons with four people because it it increases the chance that normal gems will drop and even if it's a small amount it helps so can i do up looking for one h one m k b set item runs <sighs> yeah, um, no, I'm, uh, I'm a wizard, so my second class that I just started in alt for is a demon hunter, um, but yeah, wizard, wizard has always been my first love in Diablo games, so that's normally my first class, and then I play others as, uh, as my alts, um, but yeah, it's uh, 
it's fun, but there's not many wizards because pre-launch there were like tier lists going out and things like that and the wizard got ranked poorly by a lot of the content creators so everyone who's like looking for the best class and the best you know stuff didn't pick wizard but the other thing that a lot of content creators were saying was like you know even though they're ranking them on the tier list it's not like one class is far superior you know like they all have their different things and I've had no trouble with anything in the game so far as a wizard. Like, you just have to know how to play your class. I'm squishy. I have to adjust for that. So one of the abilities I use is Ice Armor. It absorbs like 8,000 damage or something crazy, which is an extra 25% damage mitigation. So that's something that I chose because I'm squishy. And I tried to play Necro like as my first alt. I only got to level like 16 or 17. I was like, uh, I don't think it's for me. So I, I switched off of it and, and rolled the Demon Hunter. Um, and that's my second character is the one that I play with my wife because she plays Diablo with me. Um, if it was only mobile and they never got a PC version, she wasn't gonna play because she doesn't like playing games on her phone. But since they got a PC version, she's all in. So she's playing it a little bit with me. Um, Definitely not blasting hardcore like I am, but she's eventually will get up there and we'll do challenge rifts and have fun and play together. You know, makes it so that I have a little bit more leeway too as far as like playing this game all the time. Because if she knows that it's fun and she wants to play it too, then it's not like I'm constantly ignoring her. Like she can play it with me. So that part's good for me, extra game time. This dungeon is not my favorite one, but it's quick, and the reason that we're picking it is each week um, there's two dungeons that have an increased drop percentage for set items, uh, and this is one of them. And then the other one that's the choice, like you could do it for variety, but it takes way longer. Um, so, for the same amount of attempts at loot, this is the best bang for your buck. We did find a second dungeon that goes really fast and you kill, I don't know, like five bosses in a pretty quick span. So there's a lot of loot that drops in there. But since we got to level 60 and we started running for side items, this is what we're after. This is what we're stuck with. I'm hoping that next week we get one of the other dungeons that has the increased set bonus. I like to break these braziers <laughs> before he comes and breaks them all because when he jumps down he breaks them so I like to break them first it doesn't make any difference on gameplay but I just like to break them we're gonna find out later on that if you uh, if you break those that it screws up your drop chance got a set waste and Alana got a set waste lucky bastards every time I run with them they get so many legendaries these guys man I wish I had that kind of luck <laughs> although I keep saying that like in dungeons I had bad luck but I was running solo earlier I was doing great 
like I had great drops earlier. So as much as I want to complain, like I had good legendary drops today. I probably used up all of my luck this morning and <laughs> I won't get much for the rest of the day. Oh, dude, I tried to get my kids to play. Um, the older one, not a gamer at all. She's just not interested. She's, uh, you know, wants to be, she's one of the cool kids and like gaming is not cool. And, you know, she's busy, like she's working, um, working, volleyball, school, like she's pretty busy. So she doesn't have time for a game like this. The little one, I tried to get her to play. I was getting her to watch videos with me and like, you could play this with us. And she was like, mm, no, that looks boring. <laughs> like, all right. I mean, she's eight. If she doesn't have the love for Diablo, I can't really blame her. She would like to do uh, her little tablet tablet games for makeup and Hello Kitty and I don't know whatever else. Like those type of silly games, you know. I think she'd get frustrated too because, you know, this does take a reasonable amount of skill to avoid stuff and not die. So I can see her getting pretty frustrated as well with trying to learn the controls and not die. Our kill streak. The other thing that you want to try and do is what we just did there is you keep your kill streak alive by attacking things and like keep killing it. It's good to try and keep some things alive and keep that kill streak going because the higher you get it, the more bonus experience you get. And it's small, like you get a couple of thousand for leveling it up and getting into the 60s. But it does make a difference because every little bit helps when. Let me see how much experience I need. It's some crazy amount of experience. It's like, let's see, to get to Paragon 8, I need another 1.3 million experience. So getting that 2,300 or, or, you know, whatever from the streak, it's like, oh, it's tiny. But if you're doing that all day long, it might add up to a couple hundred thousand experience. And that's the goal. Maximize everything you can. I think the server paragon's at eight, so once I once I got to seven everything slowed down and then once I get to eight things will definitely be slow. But then tomorrow morning the server paragon level will be ten and I'll jump online and get a ton of experience and be able to kill stuff. Have bonus drop rate. Oh I think that's why my luck was so good this morning. Because I was under the server paragon level, I had an increased two hundred and fifty percent block rate or drop rate. So maybe that's why my luck was so good this morning with Master getting those two three stat legendaries. That makes sense. If I could get three stat legendaries every morning, that'd be great. But I'm also not going to wake up at five o'clock in the morning every day. I just had to go to the bathroom this morning and uh, since I was up, I didn't want to go back to bed. I wanted to come and play Diablo. Yeah, man, she loves to do makeup, put her nail, do her nails, all that stuff. She wants to do my makeup, which I used to, I let the older one do it when she was that age. So I think I'm gonna have to start letting the little one do it. Do my makeup, paint my nails. It's a pain when I have to get it all off, but they absolutely love it for some reason. Were you in any other streams when, uh... Oh, you could play it all day alone if you wanted. Um, it's just certain things in parties are... They increase your, your efficiency and stuff, so... Like I was saying with the gems, you definitely want to 
Did someone else get another set item? They did. I saw it pop up. So AM13 got a waste as well. Oh man. So that's everybody but me has gotten one so far. So is it my turn next? Let's hope it's my turn next. I wonder if these guys need to dump their inventory. They might. We'll see if he needs to dump his inventory. Nope. Oh man. I need to go check our warband chest too. So the other system, oh, excuse me. The other system in the game, um, another one for playing with friends, is called the warband system, and that's a group of eight. Um, if you're playing with people in your warband and you get a legendary drop, you also get something or have a chance to get something called a warband chest. And the warband chest has a legendary in it that's not for you, it's for the warband. So you go drop the warband chest off and it basically has a random item in it for a different class. And that's the only way in the game currently to share gear. So if there's a bunch of things in the warband that I might be able to use, um, I can borrow them out of the warband. And that's cool, but at the same time, like if somebody leaves the warband, all of the gear that they contributed towards the warband um, goes with them. So you gotta try not to you know, be borrowing everything and find out that, uh, you know, there's <laughs> your warband member left and you no longer have a main hand or an off hand or a helmet. But I think there's also a limit on what you can borrow. I think you can only borrow, I think you can borrow one, one thing at a time initially and then maybe you can borrow more later. I don't know exactly how that works yet because I haven't had to borrow anything. So I'm keeping the kill streak alive back here, and then I want to crawl along the wall and bring some rats with me. And they're in the way. Oh my gosh, it won't let me move. Super annoying. Okay. So I'm going to drag them along. And bring some skeletons with me. Keep the kill streak alive. So this is the way to really maximize, is you bring these with you and you keep that kill streak alive through the boss. And that's a good way to, um, so 13.6k experience. If we do that every time we run, you know, doing 10, 20 runs, it's going to add up to a pretty significant amount. So speaking of that, the girls just got home. <laughs> I didn't see your last comment. You'd enjoy painting my nails too? It's a, it's a guy, honey. <laughs> Um, at least I think it is. But we we're talking about uh, trying to get the family to play. Now Jetta wasn't interested. So that guy's immune to damage, but we ha I think we have to kill these ones to break the wall down. Which means that you can't really keep the streak alive um, when the wall's there. Which is the one annoying part. If somebody has teleport, you can potentially continue to here and get it up to like a 45 or so kill streak. But there's also a wall up here. So you've got to try and get somebody to get up and make it to these mobs super quick. So you basically have to have someone waiting there with a charge ability or a speed ability to try and break through and keep that kill streak alive. That's if you're like max, like totally min maxing. The other thing is, if you're the person running ahead and things drop behind you, you never really get a chance to go back and find them or get that extra gold or that extra loot. It's like, if your job is the upfront pushing through, you're going to miss things from behind, but it benefits everybody with extra experience. So, I mean, I could just sit back and let these Demon Hunters kill stuff, because their single target damage is insane. That's the thing that Demon Hunter has, is their single target damage for killing bosses is the top in the game. So when you're running with two Demon Hunters, the bosses die super fast. See how fast that boss died? Craziness. 
Yes, my turn. And there's the warband chest. So I got feet and a warband chest. So now I need to run to town and dump my uh, dump my gear. Something reforged, salvaged. Me. A job well done. Okay, Tell let's identify and well. cross our fingers. Torn soul. Which one is that? So that one is the one that I needed. Um, and is it actually better? It's fortitude and vitality, which is not amazing for me but it's a three socket as well so i can get an additional armor slot in there so this is worth it and then i need to socket in the fourth gem and i won't have enough to upgrade it to a rank two so i need to try and get a blue sapphire so that i can increase that and then i've got two warband chests now so i need to go visit the warband um, but now I'm doing extra damage on my channeled skills, or my channeled and continuous area effect skills. So that's actually really good for me because that's what most of my skills are. So I've activated this bonus, uh, persistent ground damage. So that's both of these, actually it should be all three of these. I don't know if this one counts as, this one counts as ground damage for sure. I don't know if this one does because it's a tornado. But tornadoes have to touch ground to be tornadoes, so it should be continuous ground damage. And then black hole kind of hovers above the ground and pulls people in. I don't know if that one counts. But I'm kind of thinking that it should, so we'll see if I see a, a DPS increase in my combo. It's, I mean, it's going to be really hard to tell anyways because of the nature of how fast things die in here. What intrusion! I will deal with this. Like, we just kill this stuff so fast, it's awesome. But now that the family's home, um I think I'll probably do a couple more runs and then I'll end the stream um, just because once they get home, like if I'm streaming, I can't really talk to them at all. Whereas if I'm not, I can jump in and off, like do something here and there, take a break, do all that stuff without like being constantly engaged here. I appreciate the four people who showed up. Um, it was a rough start earlier, man. Like, I would go up to one viewer and then back to zero, and then up to one, and then back to zero. And it was like, not, I don't know if it was the time or people just don't want to watch me play this game, which could be. Like, you either want to play the game yourself or you want to watch me do things that, you know, you can't do yourself yet. And everybody can sit in Pride Dungeons, everybody can do PvP. Later on, once I start doing, like, higher end stuff, Maybe people want to tune in and see me do that. If I can continue to like be on the leaderboards for my server, people might want to see how I'm doing it. So I just got a tourmaline, but that's not what I need. I need a sapphire. I mean, it's always good to get tourmalines because that's for damage, but I definitely need to get a sapphire going. So I want to try and be the pusher man this time. So I'm going to try and 
be right at the gate, so with the kill stuff, I can be ready to move forward and try and keep the kill streak alive. It's not as easy without teleport. Okay, so we got it. Kept the streak alive. I don't know why it just got so dark. Okay, kept the streak alive. Now I want to do the same thing here. It is I see my target as soon as this opens? If I can get that shock off, that feels better. We can keep it alive. So we kept the streak alive again, making that. And now I think that's the max that we can get is about the 50 or 51, because that's all the monsters until the until the boss spawns. Getting that 53 is an extra 10k experience. So I might have sacrificed some loot for myself, but it's not like it was legendaries or anything, so I'm okay with it. Ugh, that combo was wasted because he was in transition. Anybody else get loot? Looks like Olana got a waste. So that means next will be Nick's turn, and then it'll be 8K whatever's turn. Hey Silent One, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. I'm just running some dungeons back to back farming set items. I did get the boots that I wanted. So just a minute ago, I got the second set piece here. Um, only the waste and boots can drop in Hell One, so. I can't do any better than the two-piece set for now. Uh, and Hell 2 is not available until Paragon level 30. Well, it is available, but it's recommended Paragon level 30. Um, Paragon level 30 is not a hard cap, per se, but it is a pretty good guideline for the power level that you should be at. Some people are going to be there ahead of time. Like, if you've got all five-star gems, like you'll be able to go in there sooner. Okay, Streak is still alive. Let's pull in some rats from the side to boost it. Keep that kill streak going. Pull some rats in from the other side. Are there any rats down here? No rats down here. So we did what we could. Another 10k bonus. Uh, so, I think I'll be able to turn in my battle pass soon to get to Paragon 8. Seventeen kills, let's keep it going. So I think the max I've seen out of here is like 60. You gotta go along the walls to break the skeletons out of the walls, like here, while killing the main floor ones. And then the goal is to have somebody get to the boss and activate the boss while the kill streak is still going. And there we go. So now the spawns from the boss will boost it even higher. Unless those don't count. Oh, I don't think they count towards the streak. That's unfortunate. That'd be cool if they did. Let me do two more runs and then I'll be done. Okay, 
so I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. I'm gonna get up to the gate and be ready to push through. We missed one. So that happens sometimes. It sucks when it happens, but it does. So there's one gargoyle back here that just killed our streak. And now it's not really worth anything. Like, we'll be able to get to like 25 max, which is like 2,000. It's, it's kind of an exponential curve, so the higher you get, the more it increases. So. We won't be able to make it really worth a lot now. <laughs> Other people like to do that too. Kill all the braziers before the skill hockey can. So now he's going to transition, and as soon as he's done transitioning, I'm going to dump my combo. That died so fast. So I got nothing. Nobody else got anything good either. So this is a bad run all around. Hopefully the next one does something good. Let me see if I have enough inventory room. I've got enough. Last one, honey. Oh, so this will be the last run, and then I'm gonna end the stream for now. And thanks for everybody for showing up. We're back down to two viewers, so thanks for the two of you who stayed. I think one of them is just kind of AFK hanging out, listening. Uh, I think what up went to shower. I don't know if Silent wants to sit here or not. But if you did, you should check this game out. It's a mobile game. It has a PC client version, which is what I'm paying on, playing on now. But it's uh, mobile first. So for all my you know, subscribers from the other games, it is a mobile game. Drag him with me so that the boss can get started. Perfect. Fifty eight kills, that's pretty good. Twelve point five K experience.
see if they get both gargoyles this time, hopefully. I'll kill stuff on the way up the stairs and then I'll be ready once we get there. Oh, I saw something drop. I want that. Even though it's just a blue, every material helps. Um, you need so many thousands of materials to keep upgrading your gear that everything matters. Sword 19, let's see if I can get the tag. Got it. I think 28 is when we can move through. Come on, so close, so close. Got it. And then I gotta get up here and try and keep this alive. If I can keep it alive, we can get up to like 50, I think. Wondrous. Nope, it ended. So we missed something because it's not dead. The gargoyle again. It's unfortunate. Because there was an extra blue pack there too, we would have got probably higher than 50. The warmth of life has no place among the damned. Bow before your rightful king. Here's the transition. After the transition, the aura goes down, everybody drops their combo, and this guy just melts. Watch him die. He does so fast, it's insane. That's crazy. Oh, look at that. Ending on a good note. Both myself and Alona get a set item to finish it out. Awesome. I'll go identify this and see what it is before ending the stream, and then we'll see if I go live again later if I just play. It all depends on if people are going to watch. I just am, mainly I want to stream a lot to try and make sure that the YouTube algorithm starts adjusting over to Diablo Immortal content so that when I start making guides, they're actually visible to the people who are looking for them. Because it won't be do, do me any good if I'm fighting against the other YouTubers you? um, and they have established Diablo Immortal on their the YouTube algorithm and I don't. Do you okay, let's see what we get. We got well, a Torn Soul, which is what we just got, but this one is better. The reason this one is better, it's got 1% more healing cooldown, but this one has Intelligence over Fortitude, which is damage. Um, fortitude is not a bad stat, it gives like armor, armor penetration, that type stuff, but intelligence gives me damage. So I'll equip that, transfer things over, and I just got a little bit of an upgrade. So the thing here, looking at my stats, um, intelligence increases my damage by, so I've got 80 damage and 268 combat rating from this. And then my fortitude increases my armor and armor penetration. Vitality increases my life. And willpower increases my potency and resistance. So this is my least valuable stat. And these actually kind of go in order. So intelligence, fortitude, vitality, willpower. These two you could flip. You might say that vitality is better than fortitude. It all depends on what you're looking for. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, you know pretty good. I'm at 2495 damage, so pretty decent. I'm actually going to do one last thing, and just so that it's you guys are here for it, or it's on stream, is, uh, what the heck are these? Oh, garnets. I need, that's where I'm going right now, is that sanctum. I'm going to go socket in these uh, gems that I got from the world bosses, and see what I need to do for the last few. I think one of them is a world boss that's on a week-long cooldown. I saw somebody link it this morning and it's on like a 96 hour cooldown. So um, it'll be a little while till I get that one. 
And then I need to see where the other ones drop. One of them is from, I don't know, something that I should be able to do if I knew what it was. So here's the shrine. I currently have these three gems in. These glowing ones are the ones that I've unlocked today. So it unlocks the statue and then that person is on my side and they give me extra stats. So I can upgrade those gems. Um, so that one gave me 18 armor. This one's going to give me something. I don't know which one this does. So we'll see what did this one give. This one gave potency. This one is one that, so this one I get from opening the chests in this area, and that's a daily event. So eventually I'll get this one, um, but for now it's just random chance. And then this one is Ancient Nightmares on like a 96 hour cooldown. So I'm gonna have to make sure to set an alarm for that and not miss it when it happens. Because once I do get the gem, it seems like it's 100% drop rate on your first kill. Um, so then once you get the gem, you can continuously level these up. So that one gave 80 life. And this last one, let's see what it gives. And then I can upgrade some of these too, because before the three that I had were, there's three different colors of upgrade materials. There's up here, there's the, the reds, the blues, and the greens. And you can see I have way more green because none of the gems I had before this were green upgradable. Okay, so life, potency is red. So it seems like green is defensive. So all of my defensive style gems use green. So armor, resistance, and life. So I'll upgrade each one of these once because it's gonna increase my combat rating and that's gonna help me with challenge rifts. I actually can upgrade all three of these to level three now that I look at it because um, I need 90 to get to level 3, and I'll have just that. And getting an extra 80 life doesn't seem like a lot, but every little bit helps as you level up. Getting some more armor, and then I'll upgrade one more. I might have enough to upgrade a blue. Let's see what I have. Um... I can upgrade this one, so more potency and resistance. This one's potency, I can upgrade that one. I'm getting a ton of combat rating right here. This is fantastic. And I think I'm out of materials at this point because I need 30 reds to upgrade something or 30 blues. So 50, 50, 30. And then I don't have these unlocked yet. So that's it for now. That's all the upgrades I can do. What is my final combat rating at? Delete, delete. My final combat rating, if I can find the thing I'm looking for. I can't look in here, that's why I can't find it. I'll go out and then we'll look at it and then that'll be it. Okay, so it's in your codex, and from your codex here, you can see oh, my battle pass. My studies have paid off, it seems. I reached a cap on experience, apparently. Um, I'm at 868 combat rating now, so I should be able to do quite a few challenge rifts later. And then I got a bunch of stuff there, and I leveled up my battle pass. So I got some of these keys, some hilts, and I don't know when this resets for the cap. Is it weekly? I think this is weekly, so or it, or it means that the experience reward is capped. I don't I don't know what this actually means, but. I probably will just save and hoard my battle pass points from this point on until this goes away. So I'm guessing Monday morning reset, I'll be able to start increasing this again and getting experience. So I don't want to keep leveling the battle pass and not getting the experience that goes with it. 
Oh, and it looks like I did hit Paragon 8, so we can look at the Paragon tree real quick. I've done 100 damage here. I've done this ability that increases uh, each time I defeat a monster, increases my attack speed for 6 seconds, stacks 10 times, and then going down here for more damage. And this one you can go crazy on. 20 per stack all the way up to 500, which is fantastic. So keep maxing that out. Eventually I'll get this Wrath. Once I finish this, I'll get Wrath. And then I'll focus on, I don't know if I go to this one next or I jump back up here and move over to get some of these extra abilities before going here. But that's the Paragon Tree. Um, I think that's it for this. Oh, neighbor's dog showed up at your door. That's interesting. Um, I'm finishing up for right now. Um, I did get, while you're gone, I got some sad items. Um, so I got the boots that I wanted. So I completed the two piece set and I got this torn soul. But actually first I got this one uh, and then a couple of, like two runs later, I got this one, which is better because intelligence gives me damage. So, uh, and also 1% more of a healing potion cooldown reduction. So I got this one pretty happy with it. It's not a three stat, but you know, it is worth it. And when I do say three stat, this is what I mean. So this is, I got this this morning. So you can see here that the legendary has three stats versus two. And this adds up to 93 total stats versus a regular two stat. This one um, only has, what, 31 on it. So this is three times better than that. Uh, some of these are better. So this one has 60. So they're not that much, you know, above it. But yeah, some of these, they don't have nearly the amount of stats that a three stat item does. Of course, right at the end is when we start getting more viewers. <laughs> But um, I'm going to end it for now because my voice is tired and my family just got home and other things. So uh, I don't know if I'll do another stream this weekend. Maybe tomorrow, maybe later tonight. It all depends on what the family's doing and what kind of death sentence my wife has for me. <laughs> but, all right, guys. Uh, thanks for showing up. Uh, appreciate the support. Um, and I will see you in the next video.